Hello friends, I'm playing a game called, as you can see, it's pretty crazy. Um, I suddenly became a magical girl to fight aliens from another dimension. So, you know, I like these cute kind of fluffy games and uh, she's just so adorable. Look at her little pink outfit and her little heart eyes. I just had to try this game out. So let's start. This. This is a story of how my life changed forever. Oh, it's so pink. It's so glaringly pink. It all started back on that fateful school day. Oh, my eyes. I think they're blinded by pink. The sun was shining pink. The air was unusually warm pink. The cherry blossoms were in bloom and they were pink. The students around me were excitingly chatting and they were pink too. It seemed like a perfectly average pink day, but, but, um, um, uh, okay. Oh, look at you, the pink hair. Ah, screw it, I forgot what I was going to say next. Welp, it was fun while it lasted. So, what did you think so far, huh? Wasn't my intro great? Why does she have fangs? Huh? Huh? So you ignored me. I wouldn't ignore it, she looks crazy. What a bummer. Seems like you're the only person here, though, so... I'll just continue talking. Too bad. Wait. I haven't introduced myself. God, I'm such a doofus. No wonder you didn't know what to say. You hardly know me at all. In that case, let's get some things out of the way. Ahem. The name's Kagami. I'm a second year at Jinriku Academy. I hope they said that right. I think it's Ka Kagami? Kaga Kagomi? You know the school nearby Cohen Park on Tosh in Toshi City? Wait. Don't tell me you don't know Cohen Park either? Jeez, do you live under a rock? I do actually. Um, anyways, Jinriku is a well-known school in my area. Well known for what, you say? Um, being pretty average as far as schools go. It's completely ordinary in every respect, even down to the number of toilets. Believe me, I counted. You would, wouldn't you? But you don't want to hear more about that. You want to hear about me, do I? I'm actually the founder of the one and only Pink Club. Magical Girls Club. Oh. A well-loved and celebrated student society where I'm the only member. Nobody else in my year thinks so, but magical girls are so cool. They may snicker about me being obsessed with what they call little kid stuff. But I bet the trendy dramas they swoon over never features any girl fighting the world for her beliefs. Or wearing super cute costumes. I'm here to show appreciation for Justice's sparkling defenders. I do like sparkly. And hopefully be one of them someday. Good luck with that. What? I'm totally serious. Ahem. Maybe I should give you three short facts. You know, to break the ice a bit. Number one. Sometimes I play lacrosse for school. I don't do that often because I'm always made goalie. The lacrosse captain wants me staying in one place after I lost her a big game. I swear I'd have to do something with my klutzy running. Number two. My parents are super busy, so I basically live alone. It's not like I care. I actually enjoy the freedom of doing whatever I want. Oh, you're one of those. And number three. Number three. Hmm. Uh, my, my favorite 
food is beef jerky. Weird. Okay. That's um all I can think of right now. It's a weird favorite food. So now that you know me a bit, let's get to my story. Oh, that's so pink, it's blinding my eyes. It was a pretty average day at my unusually average school. Classmates chit-chatting, sunny day, petals falling. You get the idea. I had just finished the last class of the day. I think it was math. Oh, I hate math. Oh, look at her hair. It's now got like hearts in her hair. The teacher used to throw the like chalkboard chalk and the racers at my head. True story. Anyways, it was really, really boring, and as soon as the bell rang, I was totally prepared to leave. Except I couldn't. I had detention that day. Oh, you're one of those. Uh, why did you have detention? Do I really want to ask? Wow, what a bummer. I don't even want to ask. Wow, what a bummer. I know, right? But hey, I can't say I wasn't used to it. Oh, you're, <laughs> you're like always getting in trouble. Anyways, as punishment, I had to stay in the classroom for like an extra hour or something. The teacher made me clean off all of the blackboard dusters, wash the windows, throw out the trash. It was humiliating. I had to see my classmates run off yabbering about how great their weekends were going to be. When I was finally allowed to go home, the sun was already setting. The prestige school complex was bathed in amber hues. Are you sure not pink? Since none remained after class at school on a Friday, I had to walk home on my own. Careful of getting kidnapped. Mind you, any any like serial stalker would like see you and run the other way. <laughs> You'd be like, no, crazy girl. No way, dude. She looks like trouble. She looks like she would brainwash me. I wasn't really in the best of moods during the ten minute journey back. I thought stuff like, God, this sucks, or why does the world hate me today? Why does the world hate me every day? I could feel myself gritting my teeth and growling. I wonder if she's getting down on four legs and like bark like a dog. Woof, woof, woof. I probably got a few odd looks from some strangers, but I couldn't care less. She's got the teeth and the red eyes for growling. Looks like a pink demon girl, kinda. Once I reached home, I immediately went to the front door. I unlocked it, stepped inside, and dumped all of my schoolwork in the middle of the hallway before making my way upstairs. Snack time. Ooh, your house is a mess. Is that your bedroom? Wow, you are spoiled. I flicked on the TV and began surfing the channels as I often done on a Friday night. Look at these little anime dolls in the background. She's got a bigger screen TV than, oh, most people. Spoiled rich kid. Usually there'd be a decent program showing like Pretty Miracle, Doki Doki, Witches or Star Shul Shoulder, My Yu Yu. But for some strange reason, they weren't on that day. The only thing on was the news. So I gave up looking and began to watch the latest reports. The stories weren't that interesting. Just a load of boring politics interviews and weather forecasts. Until. But then, out of nowhere. We've just received several reports of a series of unidentified floating objects making their way towards Toshi City. None knows how they made their way there, but many suspect it to be a promotional stunt. Though I don't recall any recent films having moth-like airship. Ah! Look at her mouth. They're attacking the city! They vaporized buildings and the people in those buildings! Somebody! Anybody! Help! Well, it's up to the pink girl. Suddenly, TV t signal died. I ran to my window without thinking. Oh, look at them coming like moth. And there they were. A whole fleet of those mothy airships. Their beams were vaporizing buildings left, right, and right. Sirens and yelling could be heard everywhere. 
It was so scary! I bet. Was this what my yu yu felt too? When she faced the destructive anti madrons for the first time? Without any star soldier powers? Well, that's all she can think of is like her enemy show. Or Rina Mahu, the first pretty miracle, who fought against the royal dark hearts. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like Sailor Moon. <laughs> Whatever the case was, though, they always prevailed. I do like Sailor Moon, though. For a split second, I thought, if I go out there, maybe I'll get powers and defeat evil, too. I used to skip school to go and um, go home and watch Sailor Moon on my, on like, that was, like, the best part of the day. Just, like, going, skipping school and going home and watching Sailor Moon. Oh, I love Sailor Moon. Moon power. Oh, look at her, like, gamer, like, t or her, like, desktop in the background. Oh, my goodness, look at that. She is so wealthy. She's got so much stuff. But I reminded myself that this was real life. What? And in real life, there was no such things as magical girls. Spinning wands and cute incantations could never save our planet from anything. Look at her. She's so defeated. Right? <gasps> Wrong. Kagami. Huh? I turned around and found some small furry creature face down on the carpet. Ow! Of course it's a cat! Oh my goodness, it's a kitty cat! Oh, kitty cat that can talk! How cute and adorable is that? God, I really haven't done but portal leaping in a while. I'm out of practice. Whoa! Who are you? How did you get into my room? That doesn't really matter right now. I've got better things to do. Just a question. Why are you so loud? Oh, uh, sorry. Fine, fine. Apology accepted. Yeah, but you're a talking cat. Anyways, I'm here to tell you something. I would just run over there and give you a big kiss. Oh, kitty cat kiss or a boop on the nose. Boop. Okay, but if you're gonna do that, at least tell me who you are first. Ugh, alright. He's got some crazy... I'm... Naya Naya. Ugh. Is that like the Naya Naya cat? That shoots like rainbows? Pugh. Naya Naya what? You know, this is why I hate telling everyone my name. I don't get why people find it so funny. Pretty common magic lander name. Sigh. Look, let's get things straight here. I was sent by the... Oh, look at the little heart cookie. Looks like a heart cookie or is it a heart token? I want, I want to eat that for some strange reason. I have like a craving to eat that. It looks like a little heart macaroon. I was sent by the Queen of Magic Land to give you this. Queen of Magic Land. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> What's that? I bet Magic Land is so beautiful. Um, let me see here. Pa painted in Magic Com Compact MK3 for human use only. Used by Magic Land as a result in hemorrhaging, vomiting, liver failure, and brain damage. So, there you go. Cool! What am I supposed to do with it? Probably eat it. Don't people your age normally use compacts? Oh, you open it up. I've never worn makeup in my life, so... Nope. Uh, she's one of those. Alright, give it to me. First, you open up the lid. Then you yell a bunch of nonsense. And away you go. Now I'm gonna hand it over to you. Don't screw up or anything. Okay. Gasp. My, my, my miracle loving light. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's like a pink. Pink nightmare. When the light had died down, I find myself totally different. I could easily see that my outfit had changed, but I ran to my mirror just to check it all out. I think the biggest change, other than the clothes I was wearing, was in my hair. <gasps> Before it barely sat on my, around my shoulders, but now it was longer, lighter, and tied in ribbons. I swear I had become 10,000 times cuter. Oh, look at her. Oh my. 
<laughs> Holy crap! I can't believe it! I'm a magical girl for real! Well, um, if that's what you guys call it then, um... Oh my god! This is the best day of my life! Yeah, but your world's gonna be destroyed soon, so... Don't worry, Naya Naya, I'm on it! She has no idea what she's doing. I'm gonna be the best magical girl ever! If you say so. Looks like my job here is done then. Oh look, he's like, smoky? <laughs> he's got like a cigarette? What? No, no, that's not a smoke. That's like one of those pokey, right? Like those, those like, uh, chocolate covered pokey? That's like a candy or like a crispy yummy? It's not a cigarette, right? Yeah, they would put this in a pink, pink game, would they? Uh, good luck with protecting Earth or whatever. Bye. Yeah, that was a cookie. Alright. I feel like I can take on whoever's commanding these weird ships right now. Let's roll, Kagami! You know, there's supposed to be... I read that there's supposed to be a romance in this game. <laughs> can I actually romance? Oh my god, what is she gonna romance? This is so weird. This game is so bizarre. I thought I was gonna romance Naya Naya. I practically jumped down the flight of stairs as I made my way to the front door. Once there, though, I had to make a decision quick. Hmm. If I'm gonna stop those bad guys once and for all, I need to make, make my way downtown and fast. Like, he didn't even- the cat didn't even show me what my powers are, though. Like, what am I how am I supposed to use my powers? I wonder which route would be best. Oh, well, I only got one route to go. Okay! To Cohen Park! There she skips and jumps. When I get there, the park was empty. At this time of day, it usually was pretty quiet. But factoring the added spaceship evasion, the silence was understandable. But those things didn't explain why I felt so uneasy as I went through the gate. Oh, what are you gonna do? Once I got there, though, that sense I had of being watched, it got a lot stronger. Oh, they're invisible. I felt like that whoever was spying on me was really, really close. The sense of unease was so great that, well, I yelled at the top of my lungs to find out who was watching me. Hey! Whoever's watching me, stop that! I heard a tiny, quivering voice. Oh. Oh! I, I, I'm so sorry! I'm such a weirdo! Such a creep! But please, please forgive me! I turned myself towards the voice's source and found myself facing. Oh. A pretty moon girl. Another girl in an elegant blue costume. She was... She was really cute. Oh. This is girl on girl kind of thing? Is that the romance? Hee 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 hee. After seeing her, I swallowed my anger, feeling slightly guilty that I'd even thought of screaming at such a delicate-looking person. Nah, it's cool. You don't seem like someone out to get me, anyway. So, um, what are you doing out here? The world's gonna be destroyed in a few hours unless you... I'm, I'm actually a magical girl who wants to fight, too. What? Um, what I'm saying is, one of the Magikurians made me a magical girl, too. They gave me the task of taking down the leader of this invasion, Empress Tashia. If the Empress is killed, then the invasion will be called off. Whoa, you're super clued in on all this stuff, aren't you? And yet my cat, who was like... Smoking a cigarette didn't give me any advice or any good stuff. <laughs> he just said, go at it. Though, aren't the people who gave me powers called magic landers? Never mind. I've got to say, you seem like you know what you're doing. Since we both want to save the world and all, why don't we team up? Want to team up? 
I'd be ever so honored. Okay, you look like you got your crap together. Me, I don't. I'm just bouncing around in a pink outfit. Um, by the way, I should introduce myself, shouldn't I? I'm Yoshiko. Cool. Nice to meet you, Yoshiko. I'm Kagami. All oh, these names. <laughs> They're so like, like anime magical girl kind of names. It's a pleasure to meet you too, Kagami. So, what are we waiting for? Let's kick some alien butt. Yeah. Even though we have no idea what we're doing. Let's do that. Don't even know how to use our powers. But we still look good. And so we made our way downtown. Yoshiko was, well, a very withdrawn kind of person. She wasn't much for conversation. Though, as we were walking, she gradually inched closer to me. And then she took my hand. What? That's weird. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, I can't take how cute she is. Yoshiko, what are you doing? Oh, um, I I'm sorry, are you not okay with this? Oh god, now I upset you and... Shh, it's fine. You can cuddle up to me. Oh, 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 thank you. <laughs> it's so weird, this game. You should go, Kagami? Mm hmm? <laughs> you're, you're very warm. <laughs> they're supposed to be saving the world, and they're like, <laughs> let's just sit in the playground and like, hold hands. Just, being with you calms me down. I didn't know how to reply, so I just let her continue leaning on me as we ventured nearer and nearer downtown. It was kind of comforting. Oh, look at that red sky. It's like the apocalypse. When we finally arrived, I reluctantly parted from Yoshiko and gazed at the sight ahead of us. So many buildings had already been razed to the ground. There was fire and smoke everywhere, and the sound of sirens pierced my ears. It was awful. God, they've already destroyed so much. But if we hurry, we can save what's left. Let's roll, Yoshiko! Even though I have no idea what I'm doing. Mm. She's a little nervous, scared. I could see Yoshiko was visibly nervous about something. I figured it was because she had to face danger for the very first time. To be honest, I was super scared too. But I was a magical girl. The magical girls always walked into danger with a smile, no matter how scared they were inside. So that's what I did. She smiled. <laughs> Yoshiko and I dashed through the debris and flame searching for the empress so that we could finish her off once and for all. Ooh, look at those things. We could see her henchmen scattered around the city clutching their weapons. I figured they were the aliens because I didn't recall giant bugs being citizens of Toshi City. The two of us searched everywhere for the empress's flagship. My legs were aching from all of the running and I kept tripping over my feet. Why don't you use some of your magic? I really need to exercise more. Mysteriously enough, Yoshiko never seemed to get tired. She's probably a runner. She likes to run away. She's so shy. Eventually, though. Kagami? Yoshiko, I've been running around in this mess for like an hour. What's going on? Th th that's... That's the mothership! Huh? That? But it looks just like all of the other ships. From what I've heard, Emp Empress Thesea isn't really someone who likes to put herself above others usually. Alright then, what are we waiting for? Let's get her! 
Wait! Um, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Are you the Empress? Huh? What is it? Well, um, I... Yeah, she is the Empress. Or maybe not. My, 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 look what we have here. Or maybe she's the daughter. Who said that? I'm right over here, magical girl. Oh, there she is. I found myself face to face with a giant alien bug, larger than all the others. Out of the corner of my eye, I could see Yoshiko grow tenser and tenser. Or maybe she doesn't have any magical power, she just like, dressed herself up. I don't suppose we've met before, or... Allow me to introduce myself. Oh wait, it appears I don't need to. Yoshiko, how about you do the formalities for me? Oh, was that your daughter? Huh? Yoshiko, what does she... And then it hit me. The creature I was currently facing was the Empress herself. But what did Yoshiko have to do with her? Wait a second, how do you know Yoshiko? <laughs> Ooh, look at her, look at her tongue. Yoshiko, I completely interrupted you. Go on. Kagami, I'm sorry. I lied. I'm not here to help you. I'm here to destroy you. Oh no. Let me elaborate. I had a gut feeling that some being with magical power would prevent me from taking this planet for my own. So naturally I had to find some way of stopping them. Oh, so she just created her to stop me. Thus, with the help of a few of my trusty scientists, oh, she was created, I created Yoshiko. By pretending to be a weak, simpering magical girl, with no experience, she fooled you into thinking that she was an ally. Once she gained your trust and you took her downtown, my radars... Ugh, you know what. It's pretty obvious how everything I told you led up to this. Figure it out yourself. Not that you have much time left to do so. <laughs> Yoshiko betrayed. Is what she said is all true? Yes. Yoshiko, enough talking. Do what you were born to do. Oh no. Kagami? It was nice knowing you. Oh. Whoa, wait, you aren't seriously going to attack me. I have to. Maybe we can talk this out. You don't have to listen to the Empress. But I must. It is my purpose. What sort of purpose is that? What are you going to do with your life after you destroy Earth, huh? Just continue destroying more planets? Is that what the Empress has reduced you to? A tool? Blah, blah, blah. You can call out to her all you want, but that's not going to stop her from killing you. Shut up. Actually, no. Shut up and lend me a damn ear. Why are you so interested in destroying this planet? Is this some sort of sick game for you? Some weird pleasure you have? Well, actually, that's not... God, you're just like all of those villains in all of the shows I watch. You don't have any real reason for hurting others. You just want to do it because it's fun. But that's not... Gee, stop making excuses. It's seriously getting on my nerves. Admit it, you're the one at fault here. 
She's like, huh? I'm sorry, magical girl, but I need to destroy this planet. I have my reasons, mind you. Now, Yoshiko, why don't you get on with it? Yoshiko, go and fight your designated opponent. N no. No, I won't. Yoshiki, what are you doing? Why do I have to live for one sole reason for your sake? I have the right to choose who I want to be. Why are you denying me that right? Yoshiko, please stop this nonsense or I will have you dismantled. I don't care. Fine, if that's what you choose, go ahead. Guards, take her away. Uh, Kagami, it's time for you to do something. Yoshiko, Kagami! Yoshiko, you're back! Kagami, I want to thank you for being so kind to me. I, I really enjoyed the time we had together. Wait. The way you're talking, Yoshiko, are you gonna... Look, she's crying. If you want your planet to live, you have to do as I say. Press the button on my eye patch. Oh no, I don't want to kill you. What? You mean this moon symbol? Mm-hmm. All right. I don't know what's gonna happen next, but... Yoshiko, if what I think will happen does happen, I'm gonna miss you. Um, Kagami, don't you have powers? Can't you do something besides allowing your new friend to dismantle herself or destroy herself? I'm, I'm gonna miss you really badly. Thank you. The moon on an eye patch began glowing brightly as she began to step away from me and towards the Empress. She wore a peaceful expression. Empress the Sia. What? Oh, oh, Yoshiko, you didn't. That function will surely prepare for me to do unto you as you have done unto others. With this power, I will erase you and this entire catastrophe from existence. Yoshiko, stop! Please! You've done enough! Now be gone! Oh no, poor Yoshiko. I think uh, Kagami could have done something? Like, does she have no power? My vision went black. She turned into a magical girl with no magic. When I came to, I found myself in a weird place. Somewhere very dark and very cold. I was alone and afraid. I had no idea what was happening. But then I felt a pair of warm, soft arms wrap around me. Yoshiko. H Hello, Kagami. Aww, friends. Yoshiko. I... I thought you were gone. I am. I'm no longer part of the world you belong to. I'm just visiting you in your dreams. Aww. Oh. There's actually another thing I want to tell you before I go wherever I have to go next. Yoshiko, I know this is really sudden, but... I love you. Aww. Yoshiko. This... It's dumb, I know, but... I fell in love with you at first sight, too. Aww, they're so cute. You... You know that's gonna make leaving you all the harder, right? Mm-hmm. I... I'm sorry. I just felt it was important to say. No, I understand. I'm sorry, but I have to go now. 
Aww. I wish I could be here longer with you. Aww. Same here. Makes me cry. Goodbye, Kagami. Maybe. Maybe we'll see each other again someday. Aww. I'm actually crying, folks. Real tears. <laughs> tears falling down my eyes. When I next came to, I found myself in my room again, lying on the floor. Aww. Was it just a dream? I got up and made my way to the window. It was clear and beautiful outside. My eyes stung as tears began to well up. Poor Kagami. I knew why Yoshiki couldn't see this day with me, but it still hurt she couldn't see the peace she brought back to the world. I must have stayed in that one spot for hours before turning back to check my calendar and realizing I was late for school on a Monday? I had been out for two whole days? Thankfully I was still in my school uniform so I was able to leave immediately. Once I reached the school premises, the first lesson's bell was already ringing. I sighed, realizing this meant yet another detention, and stepped into the classroom. And stopped. From the crowds of classmates and the writing on the blackboard, I could tell that a transfer student had arrived at her class. Oh. Normally I wouldn't really have cared. But the girl at the front of the classroom was different. The girl was... Aww, look at her. Yoshiko? Look at, she's got an eye patch too. The girl smiled gently in reply. Yoshiko, I'm here, Kagami. Here with you. Aww. That's so cute. The end. Aww, that's so adorable, guys. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. So fluffy, so pink. <laughs> yeah, it's so endearing. Wow. Folks, I really hope you enjoyed that playthrough. I'm like actually crying. And uh, if you want to play this game, um, please hit that um, that link I, I put down below for the for the game to download. Hmm, seems like there's another story to tell. Huh. Is it over or not? That is, if we weren't playing the demo version of this game. Oh, there's more to the story. <gasps> Until then, see ya! Oh, Kagami and Yoshiko's story continue onwards and upwards. How wonderful is that? I love this game, folks. I really liked this game. It made me happy, sad and then happy again at the end. Oh, it just brought real feels, really good feels. Good wholesome game. Anyways, if you like this, this playthrough, please uh, support my channel by hitting that like button and uh, support my channel by uh, subscribing to Secret Door Gaming. And, uh, and I will see you in the next playthrough. Thank you.